my lovely people in today's cooking vlog i am going to show you how you can make this very yummy peanut butter and chicken recipe that a lot of african people love actually anyone loves once you try it you are going to also fall in love okay and i'm going to show you how you can get it done all right so stick with me and you are going to enjoy and i want you to try it please try it try any of my recipes you will come back to me and say thank you hello my lovely people ladim bumu here welcome to my channel so today we are going to be making some yummy chicken with peanut butter okay and coconut rice okay so i know you probably never ate something like this before you're like what chicken and peanut butter but yes it is very tasty and it's very common in the african community to we usually cook few foods with peanut butter and it's very tasty okay so here's my chicken and today i'm going to be using a uh, chicken quarters okay chicken leg quarters and we are of course going to divide them in, um, by two each quarter I'm gonna be dividing it and um, not so many ingredients to begin with okay so first the ingredients that I have okay I'm going to be just some onions a little bit of bay leaf I have like two bay leaves okay a little bit of garlic and nutmeg okay this is a very fresh nutmeg that i have shredded and i've also shredded my garlic okay so not so much uh I, not so many ingredients to begin with but the taste is going to be amazing i guarantee you so i'm just going to be sharpening my knife okay because the knives that i have in my house are not sharp at all because i always find a way to hurt myself <laughs> So, I don't keep them sharp, okay? So, before I can go ahead and, um, ouch, see, see what I'm saying? I almost did it too. Yep, yeah, I did. I just, I just hurt myself. Oh my God. This is very late. I was very tired, so I just needed a little bit of a boost to get me going, okay? Because I was feeling a little bit sleepy. So, this little boost is going to keep me awake. I did it I did it so I was able to go ahead and divide each leg uh, into two and I'm going to go ahead and wash them now and then we are going to proceed putting them in a pot yes I'm very bad with knives and this is why I do not have sharp knives at my house because I I'm telling you when I have sharp knives when like when my mom used to be alive because she had the the sharpest knives ever every time I'll come to her house and trying to cook I will hurt myself so bad I don't know what it is but me and knives we just don't get along what I'm going to do now is go ahead and wash them okay so I'm going to be washing them and putting them in the pot lovely people so on a medium heat I have my 
chicken here and these are the ingredients I'm going to be putting in okay so I have garlic I had about two large garlics okay that I have shredded I have a little bit of nutmeg okay so you shred a little bit if you have nutmeg powder you just put a little bit a pinch you know what I mean don't put a lot if you put a lot your food is not gonna be tasting good it's gonna be over tasted I don't even know if I'm saying it right anywho so I have two bay leaves here and I have one medium onion okay so these are all the ingredients I'm going to be putting in my chicken and of course with salt yeah we gotta have salt hello hello we gotta have salt so I put all my ingredients in and I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt okay put maybe one start with one tablespoon of salt all right I had about four leg quarters okay I had four leg quarters and I'm going to be putting uh, a little bit of salt uh, if you put too much Mm. Let me sip on this lemonade a little bit. Hmm. Is it lemonade or something else? Uh, get, take your guess, okay? What, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to be putting a little bit of salt. Start with one tablespoon. If you put too much, honey, <laughs> that's your business. Your food's going to be too salty, okay? So start with one tablespoon of salt. In the medium heat, with about half a glass of water, we are going to cover and we are going to let it cook. Okay, come check after 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. You come check after 12 minutes. Okay, not my business. Anywho, you come check after 12 minutes, it's going to be good. Okay, after 12 minutes, we're gonna check on it and then we're gonna let it cook for another like 15 minutes and then you're gonna be ready something like that this is american chicken it doesn't take so long to cook okay this is no 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 hard chicken it's american chicken so it's gonna be done in a minute here all right so now we're gonna move we're gonna be moving on to the next step of our recipe we are going to be making the peanut butter sauce and i'm gonna show you how all right if you try this ingredient honey <laughs> You can be licking your fingers because it's so good. All right, my lovely people. On a medium heat, I'm going to be pretty much putting a little bit of uh, oil of your choice, okay? So at this moment, what I'm going to have is I'm having canola oil, okay? I'm going to be having a little bit of canola oil. So enough that you can fry your ingredients okay we don't have want to have too much so look at look at that you see that this is about how much I have okay let's add a little bit more you don't want too much oil okay so that's about how much I have and I always have my cover for on my dispenser okay so I'm going to be adding my ingredients, okay? I have three large green onions, okay? Three large green onions. I have ginger root, a little bit of it, okay? You can see the measurement, so it's not a lot. A little bit of ginger root, I have shredded. And I also have a little bit of celery, okay? I had like one stick of celery. And we are going to saute everything just like that, okay? And make sure you put a little bit of, um, just a little bit of salt, okay? Because remember, we already had some salt in the chicken, okay? So at this point, you don't have to put uh, a lot of salt please. just a little bit be mindful of the salt because you do not want to have uh, too much salt in your food okay and we are going to saute for about about five minutes after five minutes we are going to be adding a little bit of um, we are going to be adding about eight ounces of peanut butter 
And guys, let me show you the peanut butter that I have, okay? Of course, it's a creamy peanut butter. You see this peanut butter? This is natural peanut butter. A lot of people, you guys make, um, let me talk to you. You make a lot of mistakes, okay? You, you make a huge mistake. And what it is, is that you always go for uh, the cheap stuff, right? However, you have to remember that when something is cheap, there is a reason why it's cheap. Okay, my peanut butter, the peanut butter that I always use for my food, there is only one ingredient, it's peanut butter. When you read the ingredients, it says peanut butter, that's it. I go sometimes with um, peanut butter with a little bit of salt, it says less than 1% of salt, but that's it. Ingredients, peanut butter, and salt. That's how your food, see we can be cooking the same food with cooking the same. However, my food is going to be tasting better than yours. Why? Because I'm using organic ingredients, okay? So please use organic peanut butter if you can. The taste is going to be more amazing, okay? So let me go ahead and bring you back to the, to the food. So again, I'm sauteing my onions for about five minutes, okay? And you can put it on low at, the, at this point, put it on low heat. After about five minutes, I'm going to be adding my peanut butter, okay? And then I'll be adding tomato sauce as well, about six ounces. All right, my beautiful people. So after about five minutes, now let's go ahead and put our peanut butter. Oh my gosh. Let's put our peanut butter. <laughs> oh Lord. Let's put, our, let's put our peanut butter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo, Lord have mercy. Accidents happen in the kitchen, please. Like it's not even and common. So I have added my peanut butter, okay? And soon I'll be adding a little bit of water, okay? <laughs> I'll be adding a little bit of water and six ounces of tomato sauce. I'll be adding here in a moment, okay? So the secret is you have to let your peanut butter cook, honey. You gotta let it cook so it doesn't hurt your stomach, okay? So a lot of people don't let peanut butter cook whenever, you, you know, you put it in food and uh, maybe that's why you have such discomfort in your stomach. Honey, it has to cook for at least, at least 25 minutes. Then you'll be good, okay? All right, just like that. I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of water. Bit of water, okay. I'm waiting for about five to six minutes and then I'll be adding my tomato sauce. This is so good. Oh my goodness, you have no idea. My lovely people, if you are like me, a lot of times I cook very late. Um, I tend to cook a lot of food, but very late, so that the next day I don't have to cook because I get so busy. I don't know if you can relate to me, but it's not easy being a mother and, and a wife and, uh, and you have a full-time job that requires a lot. So many times I cook very late at night. <laughs> it is crazy. I cook very late at night and, um, and then the next day I'll take a little break from cooking. But uh, ooh, it is not easy, okay? Like right now, it's, it's pretty late. It is pretty late, but we have to eat and I have to cook. You see, guys, 
this is after about 10 minutes that I let my peanut butter cook. So I'm going to be adding six ounces of tomato sauce, okay? Just like that. And you can put a little bit of water here so you can grab everything. Okay, I went to grab a little bit of water and I put it in. I told you the peanut butter has to be cooking for at least 25 minutes, okay? About 25 minutes. And now that we have added tomato sauce, after about um, 12 minutes, we are going to let it cook for an additional 15 minutes, okay? It has to be sure. And every time it's cooking, guys, you can always add. If you feel it's starting to be so super sticky, always add a little bit of water. That's it. Very simple. Just add water. But you want to make sure that you cook it for at least 25 minutes. Even half an hour is better. Okay? I go for 30 minutes. Okay? So, but you want to do at least 25 minutes. So, 25 to 30 minutes, you'll be good. If you go 40 it's good too, okay? But just make sure you do at least 25 minutes. So coming over to the chicken. So we had our chicken cook for about 20 minutes, okay? I've count, counted 20 minutes now. So this is how it's looking. Okay, look at that. This is after 20 minutes, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be turning off my fire and I'm going to be frying the chicken, okay? We are going to be frying it together here in a moment, okay? Once we fry it, then we're going, we are going to be waiting for our peanut butter and tomatoes to cook and we are going to be mixing everything together. And you are going to see how in a minute. Almost, almost done here okay so this is about 25 okay 25 minutes after and this is after everything is cooking okay so we have the tomato sauce the peanut butter our green onions and everything so I'm going to wait for it to be a little bit more creamy and then I'll be satisfied and also because it's going to be cooking for about half an hour though so that's very 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 good for the peanut butter whenever you are making peanut butter soup the peanut butter has to it basically has to cook very well if it doesn't it's not your stomach is going to be hurting your stomach okay because we have mixed it with um, tomatoes and all of those ingredients so they have to cook okay so now next what i'm going to do i'm going to be making some rice with coconut okay very simple and let's go ahead and i'll show you how but first what i have to do is wash my rice okay i think it's very important to wash rice and the way i do it you know depending on the quality of the rice I'm going to be washing it over and over and over and over again until I feel that uh, the rice, the water, okay, the water that I'm throwing away is a little bit more clear, okay? So, as you can see, when the water still is very, very creamy white, I don't like that. So, I'm going to keep on washing it until my water, until I feel that my water is very clear or at least somewhat clear you know what i mean just like how you see you are seeing in the video okay so you see it's getting a little bit more clearer okay so we're gonna keep on doing it until i am satisfied all right so just watch Your stars 
going to be bringing this over to my rice stove here okay I bring it over to my rice stove and I'm gonna turn it on and what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to be using um, so let's see a hundred so it's a hundred and twenty five I'm trying to put it to where you can see 125 ml of coconut powder okay so this is pure coconut powder I'm going to be putting it inside okay inside the rice all right when I'm satisfied and I feel that I have uh, made all the bubbles all the coconut bubbles disappear and the smell is amazing it smells so good so I'm going to be adding a little bit of oil okay just a little bit you you are going to see so that's good and we are going to be covering on a low heat okay actually on a medium heat sorry to begin with I put it on a medium heat I use this stove just for my rice really bringing you over to my peanut butter sauce so this is after half an hour and you can kind of see the oil you see a little bit of oil starting to show right on top that's really how you know your peanut butter has cooked okay very well so I'm very satisfied because it's been like 22 minutes okay so it's gonna be like 35 but this is good it's creamy enough and uh, it's still a little bit watery so this is good so I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to be frying the chicken now all right so with a little bit of oil again of your choice i'm using canola oil tonight so i'm putting enough oil so that i can fry my chicken okay i don't like deep frying chicken sometimes um especially when it's this you know this kind of um this kind of recipe that i'm doing i like to fry this way to keep the flavor to have more flavor from the chicken so that all of my seasonings all of the broth doesn't go away in the oil when you deep fry okay so definitely fry it this way if you can and um when you put in the chicken don't don't wait for the oil to be super hot okay put a while the oil hasn't uh warmed so much so you don't have oil splashing all over you okay because that is not no one no one wants to get burned you know what i mean so this is what i'm doing so i'm i i did not wait for my oil to be hot i'm just gonna put it in right now and then i'm going to be putting a cover so that i don't have oil splashing all over my stove all over me uh, yeah it is not a good feeling okay so yeah this is one of um one of the best ways to fry chicken when you are not deep frying it okay when you're not doing a deep when you're not using a deep fryer all right all right so when you see that the surroundings of your chicken is brown you can tell that it, it has been um it's cooked so we, we of course have to flip it over right so we have to flip over the chicken so the other side can also cook or can be fried okay and again when you feel that one side is ready you can turn off your stove let it cool down a little bit so you don't have you know oil you know hot oil splashing all over you so that's exactly what I've done. I let it cool down just a little bit enough so that I can flip over my chicken. Okay. 
and I'm going to be covering again and I'm going to turn off my turn on my stove so I can let it fry on the other side and then it's going to be ready and the smell is amazing mm, if you came to my kitchen right now you will not want to leave <laughs> you will not want to leave okay not even exaggerating once yeah well once i open once you open your rice you know once you take over the cover once, once you take off the cover the coconut smell and a little bit of that oil on the rice is absolutely amazing amazing and you can't even tell that i have coconut inside that's the good part of it you can tell but when you eat it you are feeling this like this very strange but very very extremely yummy taste and you're wondering what is this what is this so many people don't even know it's coconut now you can see the chicken mm, look how golden it's looking huh it is looking perfect and this is the chicken broth okay after we had boiled our chicken that we are absolutely going to use okay so what's gonna happen is i am going to be putting the chicken inside the pot okay and then we are going to be taking our remember the coconut um not the coconut i'm sorry the peanut butter sauce we had made earlier mm -hmm. remember our our peanut butter sauce had cooked for almost 40 minutes okay so just under 40 minutes so our cook our why keep on saying coconut i love coconut so much that's why <laughs> our peanut butter sauce is already cooked so now what we are doing we are just mixing we are letting everything kiss each other okay they are kissing look how beautiful that looks Come oh on, you cannot tell me you don't want a taste of that, huh? So now we are just gonna be mixing everything so they can be kissing each other, so they can mingle, so everything can be all together, and the flavors are amazing, amazing, so amazing. Okay, I kid you not. I put a little bit of water because I want to grab all the peanut butter sauce. Mm -hmm. I want to grab all of it. And now I'm just going to let, you know, let them mingle together for about seven minutes and come check every two minutes or so because you don't want it to burn. Okay. You definitely don't want it to burn. But yeah, this looks good. And oh, Lord, the taste is Oh, out of this world out of this world i'm telling you Hmm, the moment you guys been waiting for. I know, don't lie to me. I know you've been waiting for this moment, okay? This is the moment we get to eat, okay? We get to try. Look at this piece, piece of chicken. It was being so stubborn. I'm trying to grab it and it's not letting me grab it. Mm, I'm going to eat you, hon. Don't run away. <laughs> don't you run away. The coconut rice is looking super white and beautiful. The smell, the taste, the smoke. Mm, guys, mm, mm, mm. it was so late for me to eat though, but I was so hungry. So I just ate a little bit. I ate, I ate a little bit, okay? Just for you guys. You know, I got to have a bite in front of you. You guys want to see me eat, right? I got to eat what I cut. And yes, honey, mm, you know, I got to do my little dance because it's good. 
Yes. Ooh, I'm like, thank you, God. This is so good. <laughs> so good. I am not even kidding you. Please, I want you to try. Please try. Stop eating all the same food all the time. Try something new. This is something new that you can try if you've, you haven't already. I am telling you. Definitely try. It is absolutely good. Okay. Thanks for watching. Always thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you you know if you haven't yet. What are you waiting for? You don't want to miss out on another recipe. Go ahead and subscribe. It's not gonna eat you up. It's not gonna. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna take money out of your account. Just subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next recipe, baby. See you later.